down with your excellency. Your Excellency, I am pleased to join you all here for the official launch of the 2020 Beyond Zero Half Marathon. The Beyond Zero Half Marathon remains an inspiration, an inspirational initiative that has continued to impact millions of Kenyans through its advocacy programs that touch on pregnant mothers, infants, children, young people, women, men, and other persons. Indeed, I am proud to have been invited to this event, as I can confidently say that I associate myself with the philosophy and objectives behind the initiative. Moreover, I am pleased to be part of the launch today because it heralds yet another challenge for the Beyond Zero initiative, and I am confident that the objectives which you seek to achieve through next year's marathon will be achieved. Your Excellency, I recently took part in INEOS 159 Challenge with the aim and objective of confirming to the world that, indeed, no human being is limited. In their abilities, if they set their sights on a goal. In many ways, this marathon speaks to the same message, that no human is limited, to help enhance the welfare of others if only we put our hearts and minds to it. Father, through your hapo leadership, your excellency, it has proven that we, are, we can all work together for the greater well-being of society and humanity if we invest our efforts into it. I am therefore delighted to declare my support to your excellency in your endeavor for the next year's marathon and wish you and the entire team great success in all your endeavors. I urge all Kenyans of goodwill, both at individual and corporate level, to come out in like numbers to support Her Excellency in the initiative. I thank you. Elliot Kipchoge's number will be... <laughs> There we have it. <laughs> Thank you all make so much. Uh, basically to pay tribute to our first lady, Mrs. Margaret Kenyatta, who has inspired all of us, young, old, men, women, Kenyan, foreign, every one of us. I will tell you a little story. When I went to London to watch her first lady run, actually I don't think that London had ever seen such big crowds. They all came out. They could not believe that a first lady of any country, leave alone Kenya, would actually come out to run for such a noble cause. Please give her a round of applause. You know, I, I have attempted, Your Excellency, many, many times to emulate you, to try and do some of what you do. But honestly, distinguished Kenyans, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, our international partners, I do not think that the world has ever seen a first lady such as ours. And I think that's why uh, you had our colleague from the Ford Foundation saying uh, that we should actually request her very kindly, very gently to establish a Margaret Kenyatta Leadership Institute. Because she leads in a manner that I've never seen anybody lead. With a lot of care, with gentleness, with patience, and with a lot of love.